Nothing wrong with that. So today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and a product review, like a first look at a uh, Vivor oil drain pan. I went into a reputable truck uh, parts house here the other day and asked them because I did not have an oil drain pan big enough to catch uh, what, 12 gallons of oil. And I asked them how much one of the just basic drain pans was. And they told me and I bought a yeah, sticker shop. And I went out and looked on Amazon and I found this. And I think it's gonna be better. Now, what this is supposed to be is a 20 gallon drain pan that's also got a 12 volt electric pump on it. So like me, I don't have anybody that comes by and picks up my old oil or any of that stuff but you can return it to parts stores like O'Reilly's places like that. Or if you find someone that uses an oil burning heater in the winter time, a lot of times you can get two barrels and just consistently swap the barrels out. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm hoping to do. So we'll go ahead and get this thing opened up. It should be plenty of capacity to catch all the oil that comes out of that truck. It does come in a pretty big box and it is pretty heavy. And I do have a place to store it. I just, I want any day that I'm gonna get a shop. I don't know how it's gonna do rolling around on the ground, um, but I figure this will come in handy. I believe it's gonna be short, low profile enough to go under my pickup truck. And if I put a couple other vehicles up on jacks, I believe it'll actually be short enough to go into them as well. And that would save me a lot. I am so tired of pouring with a funnel and hoping that I get the, uh, that I don't spill anything. With this, it should be nice and handy and just put it over in the jug and turn the motor on, which is 12 volt DC. So I should be able to pull it right up next to the truck, hook it to the battery cables on the truck, flip the switch, pump the oil until it's empty, wipe it down, clean it up and put it away. Now I'm not sponsored or anything like that by these folks. I paid my own money for this off Amazon. One thing I can say about it, it is a little heavier than what I thought it was gonna be. It does have a screen to go across the top to catch anything big to, from going in the oil. Lay that to the side over here. And slide that box out of the way. So here's your hose with your spout on it to go into the uh, whatever you're putting in. I'm thinking it had a curved one on it, but this right here will be fine. I like it. it's got a clear clear tube that goes on it. That way you can see the oil actually run through the tube. Now, here's the T-handle that it comes with that you can pull it around. And it's also got away that kind of got bent down it's also got a place to roll that tube up so i'm assuming there's a bolt that goes in right here and we got to put the casters the wheels on it so I'm go ahead and try to get this box out so we got in here it should be the casters and the pump and the wires and stuff like that. So and here is the pump. It's heavy, I'll tell you that. And I was worried it was gonna be very, very cheap feeling when I got it, but so far, I like it's got the cover over the on off switch. So if you got greasy fingers, you're not getting your grease directly in on your switch. There should be a mounting bracket. And some fittings there's a there's a wheel there's some hardware there's a bracket so i'm assuming that bracket bolts right here where these four phillips head screws are we'll go ahead and get that mounted up and i'm assuming that goes right here right like that and then this will be upside down mounted not like that. I think it's how it goes.
a little bit of oil draining out. There we go. I'm gonna clamp the hot onto the hot post. Come down here and hit this bolt for the negative. And then come around here and hit the switch and see if it works. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's not terribly loud. It's all right. I'm gonna have to watch it pretty good because I have um, I have to watch and make sure I don't overrun these jugs. But if you've got a bigger container or storage tank that you put it in, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Just listen for the change in the motor when it starts sucking air. It started sucking air and I pulled it up, put the other end of the pan on a block of wood to kind of hold it up. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this back in here and whatever's left, that should be it. It shouldn't be much more. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how fast it pumped this whole oil change from this back into these. I didn't time it, I could if I wanted, if we wanted to, but That is just about it. Get it all over on that pickup. That's almost got this jug full. And from the best I can tell, the, the pan itself is empty. So that should be that. Now all I gotta do is wipe this up, wipe everything down. So for me, unboxing and using this thing for the first time, do I think it's gonna be worth the money? It seems like it's gonna be. Um, the cons that I've seen to it so far, the back wheels, I did read the instructions and I felt like the back wheels should have been spaced away from the the uh, actual pan a little bit, but I think they're gonna be fine. It would have been nice if it had been spaced out just a little bit more. Um, that's about it. I mean, it did what I needed it to do. I don't see why it won't keep on doing what I need it to do. And it's definitely gonna make for some cleaner oil changes and easier oil changes as far as getting oil back in. I will have to learn to watch it a little bit closer because you can let it run over really fast. It pumps pretty fast. And the pump, you know, it seemed to do exactly what I wanted it to do, but only time will tell uh, how it's gonna hold up and last. So I have to get back with you guys on that. Now, if you're like me and you don't have a shop, you're just trying to use it in the yard. I was really surprised it rolled around on the, on the ground as good as it did, but it would be a whole lot better on a concrete floor um i really like the mesh on top where if you drop your drain plug if you uh drop your filter you know it's going to be right there another thing i don't like about it a con but it's a big pan is clean up you know if you get in there right now and clean it up like if you're not doing a lot of oil changes stuff and it's gonna you can't just leave it with the oil in it for the next one for the next day yeah if you're gonna try to clean this thing up and put it up in a nice sheetrock garage you probably you know that might be kind of hard but um for me it's going to go on a storage trailer with a ramp on it so i'll just pull it in push it out so and it looks like it's going to be plenty low enough to go under my pickup and if i put my car up on a set of ramps which i have to do anyway looks like it's going to work good on that so anyway guys this is the vivor 15 gallon uh, oil drain pan with 
pump and i'll leave a link to it in the description i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching